uh, what were you saying about the drill instructor? I was a drill instructor from June until September in upstate New York. Uh -huh. They were just building two new schools in uh, Kiesler Air Force Base. Wolf Hall and Alley Hall. And <clears throat> they had to wait till those schools were completed before I could go down there and teach. So in the meantime, I stayed at Sampson Air Force Base and was a drill instructor. A DI, what they call. Mm -hmm. But in those days, you were called a flight chief. But they changed it from flight chief to drill instructor because when you told somebody you were a flight chief, they thought you were out on a flight line in charge of some airplanes or something, right? So they changed it to drill instructor. And, and how did you make, how did you turn people green? Oh, is that where you have to get up in, in front of people's faces and yell and scream? You, you make them as green as their fatigues. That was where you were supposed to make their face turn as green as their clothes, their fatigue. And you learn. <laughs> I was only 18 or years old. How to, uh, 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 the, 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 the new members, uh, the recruits, they were only 18 and 19 themselves. And it was something. But how do they even select you for something like this? I couldn't go. I was selected to become an instructor in Mississippi, but the schools weren't finished yet. But what, what criteria would there be? Or is, would because there... they got a nine in electronics on the AFQT, Air Force Qualification Test. What they do, you go through a battery of tests, and then it's about 20 things, what you're suited for from the results of the test. And mine was, I got a nine in mechanical, electronics, and then this, and everything was good. And they even had cook and baker. People who didn't do good up on, on real things wound up going to cook and baker school in Virginia. When somebody had to cook the food at the air, air, air bases. But did, but did they uh, think that your personality would fit? To yell and scream at people? Oh, I taught you that. They taught you how yeah. to yell and scream. I would for three days. <coughs> the what to do, I knew because I just went through it. Uh huh. I knew how to march and then there's all the different things that you do. Um, but you had to learn how to holler to people. So if they didn't clean the barracks right, or didn't clean the bathroom and toilets good, or they didn't shave, or whatever it was or they wear their uniform sloppy, um, all these different things that you had to teach them or holler at them for. Did you ever make somebody clean a, um, a toilet with their toothbrush? No, no, the other people did that. Because if the barracks wasn't just right, the whole barracks would suffer. Nobody went, was allowed to go to town that weekend unless the toilets were all clean. And what was amazing, they had just come out with... Babo. Mm -hmm. so Babo with bleach. Uh, and everything was porcelain in those days, of course. And regular Ajax cleaner did not take the brown out and all that kind of stuff. But when it came out with Babo with chlorine bleach powder, they, they could make the sinks, everything would really turn white. And the kids, I say kids, the recruits, they would call home or write home, Ma, when you come up this weekend, bring five cans of Babo with you. So the parents would bring Babo up for the kids so that they could clean the toilets good. Other kids would have the parents bring up cans of shoe polish because they shoe polish the wooden floor. Hmm. Can you imagine that? Because the barracks were all wood, wooden floors and everything. And they weren't varnished, they were waxed. <coughs> So the kids would have their parents or girlfriends, whoever they were, bring up little cans of shoe polish. And everybody would shoe polish their area. Oh. Oh. Really something. Uh, you, you, you taught me once, when you were marching, 
it was left, left, yeah. and then, and then, huh? There was something about a huh. Well, that was a lot of left, expression left, for you. Was, left, so. huh. And did you know all the marching? Uh, oh, oh, I could all, make. I know how to. I could take the people and all the formations do all those funny things, and they come back again. Like to see the marching bands do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know all that stuff. You have, but you had to teach the people how to do it. They had ranks, da, 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 and certain ranks would do certain things under a command. And with that same command, these guys might go that way, and these guys would go this way, even though it was a one command. Because depending upon what rank you were in, which is what you would do. And this is why they have marching drill. They call it drill. And you would be out there for hours until they really got it right. Now, even though it was Air Force, uh, oh, you still had to do all the ground work. Uh, but did you also have um, had a rifle range? Rifle and range. Sure. Oh yeah, you had all that. I don't. I don't think you ever saw the movie Full Metal Jacket. Did you? No. They, that, there's somebody like that in there. But uh, yeah, you, you went to school to learn how to be a drill sergeant. And like I say, you knew all the stuff. It was just uh, you learned how to be tough. Mm. You had to be, and, and, and uh, around here, you had to recruit some New Jersey and New York, mm -hmm. a bunch of wise guys. You had to be a little bit wiser than them. Mm. See, because the other people, part of the company, would go to Texas, Lackland, Texas. and uh, But we, over here, got the New York and New Jersey people. And they were all a bunch of wise guys. But everybody else went to Lackland, Texas. Wow. Okay.